and welcome back to The Knit Guru. And this is my Everything I Knit and Crochet in the Month of March video. And I nearly forgot to make this <laughs> completely. The first thing that I finished in March was the vest. And now the, the man vest I'll have to insert here. Um, I'm wearing it, which doesn't fit me as well as it fits the man, but you know. Uh, I have less worries about wearing things on the internet, it seems. So the man vest, um, that pattern is going through being written up and it'll be released at some point. Um, I've just got to work out whether or not I want to grade it or whether or not I just want to leave it as like a couple of sizes or just give it some sort of instructions, but I need to finish writing it down anyway. The next thing that I finished was started on a whim, really, because I think it was the 29th of February that Passionate Kelsey um, had a sale on her patterns, and um, I crocheted the lily top from her pattern. Um, is it exactly her pattern? No. I've added some extra rows in the bottom. Um, I've added some double crochets to make it slightly more exciting for myself. Um, and a few more rows of the mesh stitch around the top, mainly to keep the girls in. Um, even so, another row wouldn't go amiss, um, but as you can see, it's it's autumn in New Zealand now, so this can sit around until summer, and that's fine. Um, it's been, I've had this yarn for a really long time, um, and I got it to make a summer top. So this is cool. I like this. Um, but it is much thinner than the sugar and cream yarn that uh, Passionate Kelsey uses. So I had to adjust the pattern quite a bit. Um, but I made this and it fits nice. So that's the vest and the top. Um, then what? The scarf. So I started making the V-stitch scarf. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. I bought this yarn from Yarn Rescue at Knit August Nights, but not entirely all this yarn. There was one skein of this orangey yellowy hand dyed merino yarn. And I started knitting it as a scarf. Well, not knitting a scarf. I started crocheting it as a scarf. Um, however, <laughs> I got about this far through and then realized I was going to need to upsize my, my hook and double strand the yarn or I was never going to get a scarf of any considerable length and I did want it to be about this long. I did initially want it to be twice this wide because you know there's something quite nice about a blankety scarf so I still might make another one at some point that's twice this width um, but this is double stranded with my big cone of, of white Palace of Ridge yarn so there was the scarf and you've probably been following along, or you might have been following, or you might have caught some of them in my YouTube shorts, um, a little update on where those projects were up to at any particular point in time. There's still a few more of those coming through, so the projects for the vest and the, the lily top and the scarf are all finished, well and truly before the shorts are all finished and through. So there's those. Then the next thing I finished were my albatross socks. Now these here, the pattern will be released relatively shortly, I think. Um, they've got like this feather motif down the middle. They are yarn I bought from the Albatross Centre in Dunedin. And then the toe bits is from the West Yorkshire Spinners. And I got it from Goodwall Hunting, which is just down the road from where I work. It's very convenient. Um, so these socks here, these are my first lace socks, to be honest. And then as soon as I finish these, um, I'm about to start the Mother's Day socks. So there's that. Then what did we do? Then came the process of making this little guy, the Easter Bunny. Now the Easter Bunny has been quite popular. He could actually use a little bit more stuffing, I think, than I've given him. And his little teeny tiny tail. Uh, in the video that I've uploaded for how to make the Easter Bunny. Honestly, what a train wreck of a video. Bits of footage went missing, you name it, but I was like, no, release it, because um, you only really want an Easter Bunny around Easter. So here's my Easter Bunny, and he's been sitting on my shelf since he was made, and he's been quite popular. Like, he um, he was featured on Ribbler. I think the pattern's been uh, downloaded off my website for free about a thousand times. 
Um, there's a couple of projects of him up on Ravelry, which is cool. Um, yeah, I am going to take this pattern and adapt it because during the process of designing the Easter Bunny, um, one of his <laughs> incarnations turned out very much to be more like a long-eared cat. So it's not far from becoming a kitten of some description. So there was the Easter Bunny. Then I noticed on Ribbler, because I went on Ribbler because Ribbler was featuring the pattern yeah, for the Easter Bunny. Oh, you name it. Very exciting. And they had the competition for uh, making their knit and crochet Easter eggs. So I did those. And I've seen that. And that's been up in the video. I think that went up on Easter Monday. Um, so there's my Easter eggs. They've been sitting up with my Easter Bunny on my shelf. And then the last project that I made in March is completely ridiculous. I made three of these. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Now, mine is the shortest because I ran out of orange yarn. I was just using yarn scraps. Um, I made an orange one and a pink one and a blue one. And, <laughs> well, you know how Christmas has Christmas stockings? Easter doesn't have Easter stockings. And anyone who knows me well knows that I haven't grown up with Christmas or Easter. So this is quite exciting. Um <laughs> so I figured what there really should be is a stocking and more chocolate for every occasion. So when I got the uh, urge to make the yip yips, I keep wanting to call them wat wats, but the yip yips. Uh, when I got the urge to make the yip yips, because I figured there's a reservoir for chocolate eggs, um, I just got to it and decided that's what I was going to do. So I stayed up on the Thursday night of Easter before Good Friday to make the yip yips so that I could fill them with eggs for everybody on Easter morning, Good Friday. Then on Saturday we had an Easter egg hunt and um, I have not found all of the eggs because they're in the vegetable patch. I didn't say it was a smart move, but I did enjoy it thoroughly. Um, the dog found one. Fortunately, he's a bit useless and he didn't find more. Um, he's okay. He's... He's absolutely fine, um, but I have eaten a lot of chocolate in the last few days. So the yip yips and the Easter eggs, and now I'm well sorted for Easter <laughs> next year. Oh, the excitement is real. So what are my plans for March? Um, March? No, not on my plans for April. It is March. My plans for April. Um, the crochet, the Granny Hexagon Crochet Cardigan. Now, I keep seeing it on all of my feeds. Everybody seems to be making a granny hexagon cardigan. And what I want to do, because I found some cheap yarn, and I really do mean I found cheap yarn, because it's, it's acrylic. It's, it's pastel rainbow, but it's acrylic. And so I'm going to crochet up the granny hexagon cardigan just to see how it goes, because um, I am a box making anything fit me can be interesting and I'm still learning with crochet so I figure we'll give it a go. The other thing I'd like to do is to make a matching granny hexagon cardigan for the dog. I know he doesn't need it but boy he'd look cute and then we could have matching outfits and then I said well we could, on walking the dog I could have a matching cardigan to the dog and then I said to my partner that I could make him a matching cardigan and the look I got was this and then I said I could make matching socks so I've since found another equally awful acrylic but in the same shades that I will make a pair of socks <laughs> they're going to be awful I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to do granny squares or granny stitches on them to tie them all in or try and make it look like little hexagons but either way they're going to be bad they're just going to be awful and he'll wear them because um, he thinks I'm funny or at least I think I'm funny and that's good enough the next thing that is on the list is some socks for Mother's Day now these are going to be a lacy pair of socks and they're going to be for the mother-in-law so i'm going to get started on those 
um, I do have a nylon effect, silk effect, nylon effect. It's a merino yarn with like a nylon thread through it. I bought it on sale because I thought this is going to make nice socks. I don't think it's technically a sock wool, even though it's got the nylon thread running through. I think the nylon thread is a little bit more of one of those reflective threads. Um, but I think it will knit up quite nicely as socks. That'll take me a while because it's going to be a full lace sock and it's going to be on smaller needles than I normally knit socks on. So I went and got some of those like a, like a uh, driftwood 2.5 millimeter needles because often I'll do my socks on either 2.75 or 3 millimeter needles um, but I figured I'm going to have to go smaller for this next pair and what I want to achieve on them. Um, and what else is on my list for March? No, April, because we're in March. April, April, April. The year is disappearing. Um, I'm going to do one of those 15 minute challenges because I saw Retro Claude and uh, Engineering Knits doing this where they were working on projects for 15 minutes a day. And I know that the end of April is very busy for me. Well, the beginning of April is very busy for me. And then there's going to be some travel. Um, and there's a lot of work stuff going on in April. So 15 minutes a day is definitely something that I can do. So my plan is to do 15 minutes a day. Can I knit a pair of socks? They're not going to be particularly interesting or exciting socks. It is going to be in a nice yarn, though. Um, and I'm going to see if I can do that just using the time periods of 15 minutes a day. First thing in the morning, edit the video before I get out of bed and then set it up to go so that it should be live at 6 p.m. New Zealand time as to how far I've gotten through with my 15 minutes a day plan. So we'll see how that goes. So what's that, the main ones? The Granny Square Cardigan, the Mother's Day Socks, I think I want to do the cat. Oh, oh, and the strawberry mice or the, the citrus mice or the fruit mice, whatever they've been advertised as. Um, some people have said that they don't really feel comfortable um, knitting in the round on pointy needles. So I'm reworking the pattern to be a flat pattern. Um, I've got some notes, but it's still not knitted up yet. So that's on the agenda as well. So there might be a cat pattern. There might be a flat mouse pattern. Um, I've got some designs in the works on paper. This is, I haven't actually knitted them up yet, but on paper, I've got some others for an extension of the duck project for lack of a better description. So there's those things. Um, and the book fest. I do need to get the book fest done and the book fest needs to be done in April because May is book town. The book fest. It's going to be a thing of beauty. It's, um, am I going to say much more about it? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Now, there will be videos about the Albatross socks, I think. And there will probably be a short video about the Yip Yips. I keep wanting to call them the Wat Wats, but I know they're Yip Yips. Um, and then for the others, what there will start being is shorts compilation videos where because I've finished now one blanket, one jersey, one vest, the scarf, the top, all as shorts, that I think what I'm going to do is to string all the um, video footage together and release it as a compilation video. So we'll see if that works out. Um, and then I haven't corrupted too many video files along the line. Other than that, it's autumn in the garden. Uh, living off grid is fun. Um, <laughs> actually, it is fun, but it is hard work. And while I've got a lot of things to get out of the garden, there's a lot of beans that need harvesting and dealing with. There's a lot of sunflower seeds that I need to be putting aside. Um, there's the tomatoes. They need work. Yeah. So I'll see you next month.